Hi guys, how are you going? My name is Yuki. Um, today we're just going to do a little bit of a quick review with the uh, Patagonia Refugio 28 litre backpack. Um, how this video is going to run is that I'm just going to quickly give you a, a brief overview of what the bag's like um, and then afterwards we'll jump to a part where it's about like how things fit etc etc. So a quick review, as the name suggests 28 litres, it is a 28 litre pack. Um, the main thing, the whole entire bag is made from what um, Patagonia say is a 100% recycled polyester or the denier polyester is what they call it throughout in both the base, the front and, and the lining as well. Um, the whole exterior is actually got a D, has got a DWR which stands for durable water repellent treatment to it. So it is semi water repellent. Uh, we'll have a little look at that later on as well. So it is a pretty like shower, like a light shower proof kind of backpack. Okay, now first of all, you notice um, you have the three main compartments. One being an actual, like a separate laptop sleeve. This claims to fit a 15 inch laptop, up to a 15 inch laptop. Um, so that's fit in there. It is padded as well. Great thing about the laptop sleeve is the fact that the bottom of the pocket is kind of lifted off the ground. So if you do have a laptop in there and then you are placing it down on the ground, the laptop itself is not actually making like too much of an impact or contact with the ground. So there's a little bit of leeway there, which is great. Um, so I put my bag down with my 13 inch laptop that is um, in there and I've kind of laid it down dropped it down on the ground as well a couple of times it's been fine um, second compartment moving on is actually the main compartment I've actually just stuffed this with like a really thick hoodie at the moment so it's a bit more plump um, but there's a very there is ample room in there I'll take the hoodie out um, there's quite some ample room in there once again we'll do a close-up later but there's, that's the main compartment there's no internal pockets in the main compartment there um, so that said, it's actually quite roomy. It's my everyday backpack sort of thing. Um, just going to work, shoots and stuff like that. Um, next main compartment, or the third compartment is the front one here. Um, it opens up like so. There's a few little internal structures there. There's about, there's uh, two pen holders and two other ones, the other pockets here. One which is a mesh. So I usually slip my phone in there sometimes if I need to take my phone away from somewhere. Um, and then also here you've got a key loop as well. So if I want to attach my keys, I can do that to that. It is like a little one of those clip on ones. So you don't need to like work the key ring and you can just slip it on, which is great. Um, so there's that. And then this guy goes pretty deep as down as well, which is kind of cool. And then last but not least, you have this little cheeky little pocket hiding up here. This guy is, it's, it's designed so you can put like quick accessibles like sunglasses or a phone or keys or something like that in there as well if you like. It's a very shallow pocket that so literally just goes right up to my knuckles basically. Um, so I usually just stash a phone there sometimes, sunglasses, um, little cheeky little snacks. Um, so I put that, in, put that in there sometimes. But yeah, so all in all that's basically the gist of it. Um, you've also got the two on both sides. You've got a water bottle type sleeve. Um, the mesh is very stretchy as well, so it gives a lot. So even with those thick water bottles some people have, that will slip right in there, which is kind of nice. Um, you've got two little like molly type strap systems here, so you can attach something to it if you need. Um, so sometimes I have like a carabiner on there just to attach some extra things. This little loop here that some of you guys might be wondering about, um, it's actually was designed originally to put an ice pick on there. That was the original design intention apparently but of course you can put other things on there I don't know what it could be right? you can somehow work it to put trekking poles whatever that's up to you um, on the sides above the water bottle holders or the side mesh pockets here you've got two compression straps or one on each side um, so you can adjust it so if you want to if you have like a little tripod or something else like that something a bit taller to put in the mesh pocket with you you can pop it into place with the compression straps. Otherwise, if your bag is getting kind of expanded with so much stuff in there, you can compress that and then it kind of keeps it all in, which is great. Um, one thing to note about the compression strap system, which is kind of more related to the two main compartments, especially the front one, is that if you're wanting to really get full access to the front pocket, the actual buckle here, 
we'll have a close up later as well kind of get stuck with the zipper so it's a little bit hard so it only folds down to there if you want to open this fully i would actually recommend unclipping the two compression straps so it kind of oops, freeze it up a little bit and then that way it allows you to pull it down a bit further so there's a bit more room that way and more accessibility me personally have never needed to use that it's just a simple slide your hand in pull whatever it is out but for those that want the full access that's how it's probably going to be best um, one thing i did forget to mention about the laptop sleeve um, it is padded as well however the laptop sleeve kind of doubles as a bladder um, like a hydration bladder holder as well there is actually the bladder um, exit hole at the top here so you can feed the bladder tube through or the camelback and stuff like that but that's easy there um, on the back of the backpack of course you've got the oh, well, the main you know, back part of it you've got the two straps you've got two little straps here as well to clip something through or even feed the um, bladder tube through that on either side and um, you've also got your adjustable um, chest straps as well to distribute the weight properly um, along the inside of the shoulder strap this is actually very um, comfy as well as well it's pretty soft it's not as soft as some other like really high um, high-end like hiking bags and stuff which are designed for specifically for like high weight um, but this is comfortable enough for day packs and all that kind of stuff which is great um, the entire back of it's basically covered with that breathable mesh this also has a bit of a um, DWR like water repellency treatment to it so you are safe in the rain so that's basically the gist of it um, also the base is also um, a it's the same polyester recycled polyester as the, like the top of the backpack but it's a, got a little bit of a different um, texture to it um, once again we'll do a close up and we'll have a look there so that's basically the gist of the uh, Patagonia Refugio um, and then um, yeah let's um, talk about what we can fit inside it and other little reviews that I can uh, talk to you about from been using this for a few months so yeah Okay guys, let's have a look. So here we are, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna have a little look at how things fit into the Patagonia Refugio. Um, so starting off, let's put the laptop in with the laptop sleeve, so in here. Sometimes when I carry this, like I said, I've had this for a few months, when I carry this backpack, when I use this backpack, I usually, most mostly use it, sorry, for like just going to work sometimes during the day, like some, you know, Otherwise, um, I do some work on some movie sets and stuff like that. So if I'm on set, um, I just take a lot of my paperwork and stuff and the file can slip right into that um, laptop sleeve as well. But for the demonstration's sake, let's actually put a laptop sleeve in. This is a MacBook Air, um, it's a few years old now. It's a 13 inch. Um, I'll pop this guy right in. And uh, hopefully you can all see, but it's just going in like so. Hopefully it's in focus, fingers crossed. But even then, I still got ample room down there. I've actually got some paperwork still left in there and a passport, um, but that's in there, nice and tucked away. And I can, pop, I can, when you reach down to the bottom, I can feel that it's actually definitely not. My fingers are basically there, and then the bottom of the bag still there. So there's like, like a little bit of space between the laptop and the bottom. So that's there, nice and secure. That's nice and secure in there. Now let's move to the main compartment. I might take the laptops out just for this, but it's going to be heavy. Now just so you know, even with a 15 inch laptop, the straps and everything, the support on this guy is actually pretty half decent. So it shouldn't be, if you're worried about like stress on your shoulders or your neck like that, um, it shouldn't be an issue unless you're carrying some absolute bricks or gold bars and all that kind of stuff, so you should be fine. Okay, main compartment, let's go. So we open it like so. Um, this, one of these demonstrations, I'll do a thing if I'm like going to work, but also packing some gym clothes. Looks like I've already got some socks in there, so let's leave that in there for that. Shove this at the bottom. And like I said before, the main compartment here doesn't have any other interior pockets. This little flap here is from that mini pocket that access at the top to put little snacks or a phone or sunglasses in there. So that's that, ignore that guy. So let's pretend I'm going to the gym. So I usually have a shoe bag with one of my sneakers in there. So I'll pop that in there, tie it up, make sure it's nice and snug. And I usually pop that in, but then off to one of the sides. So left or right, use shoes. I pop that in like so, so it's nice and snug. And I've got a fair bit of room here. 
and then on the sides there, all the way down to work with. So in there, I will stash probably my workout socks. Um, uh, what have we got here? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Cool. Yeah, so, ooh. so I've got my tank top, a towel, and my workout shorts as well. All by Lululemon. I shove that in the back there. Still got a bit of room. I have a little dop kit here. This is something my missus uh, gifted me with. I just kind of use it for gym stuff. Uh, in here, I sometimes keep my phone charges if I really need it. Um, otherwise, I just keep my like headsets and it's remote for it in that guy. And I pop that inside. And well, um, otherwise, actually, I actually don't even take this anymore. I actually just take the headphones as it is. But if you are taking a little toiletry bag, you can more than happily fit that either in the top there, still got a bit of room, like so. Otherwise, if you want to work, configure it a little bit differently, you can still shove it in there, like at the front, like so. Hopefully you guys are seeing this, I'm sorry if you can't. And if I was to just shove it at the front there, I've still got so much more room to work with. So if I want to put in extra underwear, shirt, Etc. Etc. Or a hoodie or something like that. I can roll that up properly and pop that in there. Um, so let's just go without it for now. I've got all that room. Zip it up, and the bag still looks pretty, pretty neat. Even from the side, it doesn't look like it's too like pumped. So that's pretty okay. And then that's like that's that space that we were talking about. So that's still lots of room to work with. Okay, and then moving on to the next part, which is the front compartment where accessories are kept, like here. And like I said before, the zipper comes, comes a little bit further down, but due to this compression strap base, it kind of gets in the way. So for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna unclip this, zip these guys all the way down, and then I am going to peel this guy right open. So that reveals everything here. That's how much room you've got to work with. Two main pockets here, one which is mesh, um, and the pen holders as well. So here I usually put my phone, here my little like iPhone, those um, headphones that the iPhones come with. And then you've got the key loop here. So if I have a key, for example, right here, I just basically oop, clip that on, stays like that. And then I've got an iPhone 5 SE. So if I wanted to put that in there, that fits there. Ample room for those Android users who've got a big phone like the Sony, Sony Xperia's, um, they can fit in there too, in both pockets, easily. Um, so yeah, like that, that can fit in there. And then you've got the two pen holders. Um, sometimes I usually put like socks or, um, if I really have like smelly socks or smelly shirt or sweaty shirt or something like that, I can pop that in here, separate it from the main compartment. I do do that sometimes, otherwise if it's just a shirt, I roll it up, put it in the side mesh. Um, so there's that guy. On, if I want to, and then with the water bottle sleeve, like I was saying before, it is very expandable. Um, this is the main water bottle that I use anyway. Uh, if I do carry one, and the mesh part's expandable at the very bottom here, it does kind of give a little bit, but not so much. But it still expands a lot. So if I want to, I can fit a wider bottle in there as well. But that sits there nice and snug, and if it's taller, just keep the compression straps on top. And that's basically it, guys. Um, yeah. One thing to, uh, one of the main things I have noticed though about the backpack going into pros and cons here that is, um, if you were to fill the main compartment, this guy here, with lots of clothes and if you don't pack it properly sort of thing, I've noticed that it kind of, as you can see it kind of here, if I was to demonstrate like so, if I was to stuff it, it kind of takes away the shape of the back form of it, of the backpack. So it kind of protrudes out a little bit. So once I, if that happens to me, yes, you can push it. And then once you strap it onto your back, you kind of like pull the shoulder straps and kind of like push that back into place with your back sort of thing. But if that's an issue, um, keep that in mind, but that's what it does sometimes in terms of shape. But like I said before, if you do um, fill this guy up a lot, a fair bit, just use compression straps and pull it into place. Um, for those that don't, Want to do gym stuff? I've got some other clothes here ready to go as well. Take out all my gym stuff. Um, maybe you want to carry a pair of shoes, so maybe I will keep that in there. Maybe I won't actually. Um, so you're already carrying shoes with you. Um, so maybe like a t 
t-shirt, jeans, underwear, all that kind of stuff. You can literally easily pop in there. I usually carry a belt as well, but I've got one with me right now, sorry. And spare socks, that's good. So I've just shoved that in there like so. There's still so much room to work with. So you can shove anything you like, you can spare. Like grab like a hoodie like this. You don't even have to neatly fold it. Just roll it up and you still got room. Because that's what sometimes we do. We just shove it in there, we're in a hurry. If I was to do that, it looks full, almost, but a bit, a bit to work with. As you can see, a lot of give. So yeah, and then see what I mean? See, once it's not putting properly, it kind of does protrude a little bit out. But once it's on your back, pretty okay. So that's that. Um, yeah. Um, blah, 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 blah. Any, any questions at all, please comment below. Um, otherwise, yeah, leave me a message on this YouTube channel. Um, I want to start doing a few more reviews of other bags, not just backpacks, but like duffels, like more technical stuff. Um, so if you have any feedback, please let me know. I kind of want to get myself out there with more with like bag reviews and stuff like that and getting into bag design. Um, so that'd be great. Um, but any, if, even with this particular bag in question, um, if you have anything you want me to try with it, let me know, comment below, message me, and um, I'll I respond pretty quickly. So I'll see if I can make a new video for you guys specifically. Um, but yeah, let me know. Uh, my name is Yuki. Hope you hope this has helped. Um, for the value of this price, for the value of the bag actually, um, it's retail around ninety nine um, US ish. Um, so for that bag, for the price, it's it's a decent bag. I I really like it actually. Um, I've paid more for backpacks in the past and haven't I've only used for max like four months just because I just got um, just wasn't comfortable it wasn't practical enough for the price you pay for Patagonia and for Patagonia being like using recycled polyester and all those kinds of stuff I think it's good and um, you're definitely getting your bang for your buck um, it, I would I would have probably happily paid a little bit more for it even if they jacked up the price but yeah, and this design here is a, it's a relatively recent one, but uh, if you check out the Patagonia website, this guy is still there. There is a new redesign to the Refugio bag as well, so keep that in mind. It's, it just looks a little bit more sleek on the front, um, but it's still all in all a great backpack. So um, like I said, any questions, um, let me know. Um, please like and subscribe to the channel, as everybody says. Um, but yeah, thanks for help, guys. See you later. Have a good one.